a fossil hey from CFA. What's up guys? Ash Bigale here, owner of Charleston Fossil Adventures and photographer and co-author of A Beachcomber's Guide to Fossils. Today, I am out here with my silversmith, Tracy Burleson. We are going to be looking for some fossilized shark poop. Our goal is to find a piece that we are able to polish. Yes, we are polishing a turd and we're going to make an incredible piece of jewelry from it. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So obviously, one of the major questions about fossilized poop is how does it preserve, especially marine animal poop? So we can stop saying poop. The scientific name is a coprolite. This comes from the Greek roots kopros and lithikos, meaning dung stone. For our shark coprolites, we're going to look for this nice little rolled up piece of paper design. It's called a scroll pattern. This indicates that we're dealing with coprolites from the small intestines of dead sharks. So these sharks died with fecal matter still in the intestines and those intestines held it together long enough for that matter to mineralize. So Ashby, you're saying, how on earth can you tell that you're dealing with a piece of fossilized poop? The first thing that we're going to look for is a very glassy surface on the interior. Whenever these coprolites break, we can see they look a lot like how flint, glass, or obsidian would break. This is called a conchoidal fracture. Looking at the sides of these shark coprolites, you'll notice little depositional events of various things that the shark ate. These could be fish, they could be rays, they could be squid, maybe even other sharks. So all of these remains have been compressed together, mineralized, and turned into this gorgeous stone. Wow. It's really red. Yeah, it is. You tell me I pick up anything red. <laughs> <laughs> A tooth. Another thing we can look for in our hunt for coprolites is a surface that has little tiny air bubbles. These are most likely the result of trapped gases within the fecal matter. Okay guys, I think we might have found our giant piece of poop that's going to be perfect to cab. Let's take a look. This one. Let's see. Oh yeah. That is a massive shark turd. Never thought I'd be so excited to find some shark poop. The giveaway on this one are those little lines right there. So those have been left by a garfish. And some people might be familiar with the fact that garfish are actually known to scavenge on other animals' poop. So we have evidence of this in the fossil record as well. There was a very curious garfish inspecting this piece of shark poop. And now it is about to be turned into a gorgeous piece of jewelry. Let's go back to the studio and polish this guy right up.
All right, and we're back in the studio now. I was in the outhouse last night trying to polish this perfect turd that we found on the beach, and unfortunately, as you can see, it snapped in half. Oh, crap. So, fortunately, we've already got some cabs on the bench. I'm going to take this one right here, and we're going to go through the entire design process from crafting the silver bezel to hold the stone in place, cutting a band, adding decorative elements, assembling it all with fire and molten silver, polishing it, tumbling it, and setting it. So you're going to see a quick montage of all of these elements that go into the creation of our custom poolery pieces. Owen.
just like that, our piece is complete. You can see we have a beautifully polished copra light here with a wonderful sterling setting that is going to hold that stone in there for the rest of this ring's life. That's one of the features that we focus on when we make our jewelry is really creating a piece that is durable. There's no glues holding this in, it is entirely mechanical, and that silver is closed in over the top of that stone so that it really will never fall out. If you would like to purchase your own pool pendant or ring, please take a look at our website linked below at some of the many pieces that we have put up there. We've got an incredible variety of pendants, both feminine and masculine, plenty of options for you to choose from. If you've reached this video through the QR code on your purchased Puori pendant, please drop a comment below so that we can hear from one of our many happy customers. Likewise, if you'd like to create a custom piece, feel free to reach out to us via the submission link on our website we do many different types of work, both cuffs, bracelets, rings, pendants, in all kinds of fossils. So whether they're polished pieces, shark teeth, natural stones, we've got turquoise and other gems that we can add. Really, the sky is the limit on these. Thanks for swinging by to get the scoop on our poop, and as always, happy hunting, collect responsibly, and we'll see you next time.